This is one of our most recognizable symbols, the Canfield Fair's rooster head, but we usually don't see it in all white like this. It won't stay white for long. In fact, 20 of them will soon be painted in an array of designs. Earlier this evening, sponsors picked the designs that they wanted, which anyone will eventually have the chance to buy. The white fiberglass rooster sat this evening in the middle of the Canfield Fairgrounds Event Center, from the bottom of the base to the comb, measuring over six feet. We have 20 sponsors of the big birds you see behind us, and we have uh, 20 artists that were selected and juried to, to be uh, involved in this. Those sponsors paid $3,500 each to have their logos included on the stands. One of the sponsors was WKBN. There's a lot of variety here, and I think you know, a lot that are very interesting and can't wait to see them actually produced and put together. Scattered around the room were 20 drawings from which the donors could choose from. Matt Liptak of Alexandria, Virginia called his, When life gives you lemons, make lemon shakes. Poland's Erin Ravello named hers Vincent Van Crow. And this from Felicia Moss of Ravenna will be Grandma's cookie jar. Dave and Dawn Dickey of Dickey Electric had first pick, and they chose Under the Feathers by Alexis Morozov of New Springfield. It's the anatomy of a rooster. Dawn, it turns out, taught anatomy and physiology at Kent State Salem for 20 years. So I've always been interested in bones and muscles and that kind of thing. Um, I have skulls and skeletons throughout my house, <laughs> uh, and this just really struck my fancy. Betty Frazzini and Jill Raymer represented the Canfield High Class of 1961, which for their 60th reunion decided to buy a statue. They too got what they wanted, Big Red, by Kate Antall of Boardman. Oh, look at it. It's perfect with the Cardinal and the school and everything that transpired while we were there. The WKBN statue will be the work of Dave Buell of Austintown, titled Something to Grow About. Once the statues are painted, they will be displayed at the fairgrounds. After this year's fair, they will be auctioned. The hope is to raise between $50 and $75,000.